I just write and record this yeah, right. thing. I don't think I'm going to get more intense. I'm going to get mellow. And I just because now I'm not branded like Black Sabbath. I can do whatever I, I want to do. Any style of music in any direction I want to go, I can take it. In. Right. So recently you said that if you need a change, you're going to do it, right? Sure. Because like I was so frustrated with Sabbath because we were st we were like stereotype. We couldn't get away from that thing, that Black Sabbath image. You know that what, what we created, but now I can do whatever, whatever I want, want to do now. I can go in, you know. It's a good, good feeling as well, actually. His newest album, Diary of a Madman. His stage set is a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar haunted mansion, complete with trolls, secret passageways, and a giant mechanical hand. In New York, MTV Music Television spoke with set designer Simon Woodruff. Instead of going for a little box set of a haunted horror house we thought we'd do something really big that's probably the highest show one of the highest shows that ever been at it's over 30 foot high what did ozzy have to say i always wanted to do the ultimate in sort of the show you know but sabbath never never pulled it off for the first time in my whole career i'm having a go at doing it you know if you you know hopefully it'll work i'm sure it will in new york this is dave mcqueen for mtv music television Most rock artists don't change much. They appear, leave whatever mark their talents and visions equip them for, and to put it lightly, vanish. But the extraordinary ones alter that shape of the music that follows them, and always seem to stay ahead of the followers. Ozzy Osbourne, the rock and roll animal with the rock and roll heart, fits both of those qualifications. Ozzy Osbourne, whose real name is John, had his first taste of international success as the lead singer for Black Sabbath, Beatles of heavy metal. So one would think, after that kind of success, why quit the band? I wanted to change. It's just like, you know, you, I was just, I wasn't really interested. I wanted a new backup band. I wanted to cut guys around me that were wanted to have fun and enjoyed, did it for the enjoyment, as, you know, as much as anything else. First, I thought to myself, what am I, what, what am I going to do? Have I made the biggest mistake of my life? Naturally, that crossed my mind. But looking back now, it was the best move, move I ever made in my life. What's one of the most outrageous incidents ever happened while you were on stage? Well, it, it, it happens, it doesn't happen in little things. It, I mean, things like everything goes wrong at the same time. And you, I mean, it's just I mean, the, one, of the, one of the first shows we did with this thing. Nothing went off to pad. I mean, whatever was possible to go wrong that night went wrong. I and mean, it's just it's just like Murphy's, Murphy's Law or whatever that's so you, Nothing goes right. You know? I mean, can you imagine what it feels like when you go up there and you go, oh, everything starts going wrong. You know? The present Diary of a Madman Tour will last an amazing 10 months. 